Aloha everyone and welcome back to Eat and Be Eaten, or welcome if this is your first time visiting the channel. We have a new video in our Principles of Permaculture series for you today, and this one is all about perennial peanut. Perennial peanut is a legume uh, that grows off of rhizomes and it's a nitrogen fixer. So it creates a living ground cover for your orchards and it will continuously fix nitrogen into your soil. Here we have behind the house um, a slope that we are starting to develop we just cleared it from all the guinea grass that was growing and tarped it to kill whatever was left and now we are starting to plant it out with the perennial peanut perennial peanut grows best when planted in full sun but it can also tolerate partial shade and like i said it's a rhizome so it will grow off of plugs best to space them six to twelve inches apart to enable them to take over an area and create a, a full ground cover so that you won't have grass growing up throughout and trying to outcompete the peanut. Another useful tip is to plant your peanut in cinder. The cinder will aerate the soil and it also creates a slow release of nutrients to feed the peanut. So here I am planting in the perennial peanut. I got the pots here. You can see I'm starting to get it into the ground there. So I'm just digging it in, planting the roots. Then I'm going to spread some cinder throughout it. And that's going to increase the porousness. Uh, I'm going to water it thoroughly and we should be good. As long as it has plenty of water, the perennial peanut should do well. Again, like I said, perennial peanut needs lots of water to really flourish and create a rich green ground cover. When you get periods of drought, it'll die way back and that enables all your guinea grass and stuff like that to come in and outcompete. So especially when you're first getting your patch going, but really throughout the life of the plant, it's important uh, that it r remains well watered. Here you can see a Hawaiian chili pepper bush growing and the chilies on the ground that reseed themselves and you can see the volunteer chili pepper plants popping up along the edge here. If you click the link in the upper right corner, there's a video where we show you how to make chili pepper water, which is a popular condiment here in Hawaii. And finally, after about four weeks of heavy rain, you can see the perennial peanut has taken over, created a lush green ground cover. So like I said, with lots of rain, full or partial sun, and especially good tip, plant into cinder, your perennial peanut is going to do really well, create a nitrogen fixing ground cover for your orchards or around your house. And that is the latest in our Principles of Permaculture series. Let us know in the comments below what you thought of this video, what you'd like to see next in our Principles of Permaculture series. And because I just mentioned some volunteers growing along the edge, I'm going to leave you with a video from a few years ago all about the edge effect working in this same area along the house. So enjoy that, and we'll see you next time. Aloha. Okay, welcome to Eat and Be Eaten's Principles of Permaculture series. Today we are talking about defining the edge effect. If you hit the link up in the corner, you can see the playlist of all our videos in the series. We do Glyrocidia, Chop and Drop, Living Mulch, stuff like that. So now talking about the edge effect, it starts with observing nature where edges meet. This tends to be places like gulches where a forest meets a grassland and a rocky outcrop. And especially where we are here in Hawaii, where the ocean meets the land. And these tend to be areas of profusions and diversity of life. And so basically what you're trying to do is take this principle and apply it to your permaculture design to try to replicate this uh, profusion and diversity of species and circumstances. And so what I'm going to do today is show you a real brief uh, illustration of this growing where our lanai, our porch, meets the stairs. We have all these ferns growing out, which is just lovely for keeping it cool, and it's really just beautiful to look at, so we like that. But then right around the corner, um, at the edge of, at the bottom of the stairs, 
where water accumulates and moisture accumulates, we have just a papaya tree coming up, a volunteer. We didn't even plant it, but it just sprouted up from a seed from who knows where. Um, and so we also have a few other things going. But um, And also right next to it, we have plantain grass, which is an edible grass and medicinal. And that's growing right in the edge between the stair, um, the, the house and the driveway. And then also out of that moisture, we have a vanilla vine growing. And we have that edging all along the house, which is really super cool. So this is just kind of a brief example of how some circumstances in the edge uh, create something. And also along the other side of the stairs, we have all these Hawaiian chili peppers coming up in the edge where it meets and even a volunteer tomato going up through the chili pepper so it, and also peppermint all along so it's like it's the moisture and the shade yada yada like the edges create these possibilities um for you and so you can replicate that in your design and try to get the most out of it all right so um if you want to see me making chili pepper water with these chili peppers next week give it a shot and we'll see you next time aloha